They did it, guys. They did it. They successfully destroyed my boy. The man. The Alpha. The great old wizard. The man that led the his people into battle and won against the orcs and uh they ruined him. Man look like a bitch. A homeless man out of the streets. They ruined him. They ruined Tolkien's vision. Just like they're ruining everything else. I come to accept uh, that the reality that the that the liberals or the far left really want to just destroy everything. That's all that they want. They don't want anything else. They just want to destroy, 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 destroy. That's all they care for. Because if they actually gave a damn, they would actually make something good. But they won't. Because they hate us. They hate you. Remember playing Gandalf? And the Lord of the Rings Battle for Middle Earth 2. And, uh, it was my go to guy. You know why? Because he was a savage. The man just shuts down, just brings down his staff and annihilates everything. And he was your go to wizard if you needed that man. Then you also had Legolas, <coughs> which, you know, obviously you needed for Far Rangers. King of the Elves, essentially. Oh, I would say. Not necessarily King of the El Elves, but really, a really good elf. Very powerful, at least about other Middle Earth. But now they reduce this man into what you see here. This, this, this is the again off that, that that we know. This is this is what he, this this is this is what he is. Take a good hard look, guys. I know, cry cry a little bit. Cry deep and hard. It's a mockery. It's a mockery. Because if we go look at the real Gandalf, the real white wizard, this man here, this man oozes alpha. This man oozes that he is the white wizard, the man that does not age, the man that, you know, quite honestly, is a single. Badass of them all. And what's going to take the headlines to remove this Gandalf from anything else that we see here? What's going to remove this man, this man, this alpha, to this? He goes from this to this. This to this. It's disturbing. It's disgusting. And all we can really do is God forsaken hope that this is not Gandalf. Hope it's some other character that doesn't exist, even though he wasn't really in the third world or what have you. He was not uh, really there. He was just, you know. Yeah. Now from Middle Earth. But I digress. Let's get ready to the article before we, uh. Before we completely. Throw up on ourselves. The latest trailer for Amazon's Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power series, gives us the best, best yet look at the mysterious raggedy dude from the previous teasers. Yeah, that looks like a like looks like a homeless man. He's not officially confirmed to be Gandalf, but I'm calling it. That's Gandalf. That's Gandalf ahead of schedule for once call, coming to Middle Earth. One, one age early to hang out with hobbits while the rest of the cast is busy yelling, climbing ice cliffs, swinging swords. Forging rings and getting absolutely bamboozled by hot Saron, and that's why the show could be great. This is the reason why this show is going to be fucking terrible, and everything they that they produce is going to be horrible. Black Aragorn, really, really. Black Aragorn, we're going with that right away. Race swap, by the way. This was not Co Tolkien's vision, all right. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. This series will not be great. We already know that the show owners are messing with the timeline in the interest of telling a story that works on TV. I'm fine with that. I'm not fine with that. A foolish adherence to canon is the hobgoblin of small minds. We know the hobbit looking folks in the teachers are, are Harfoots, domatic hobbit ancestors who per vanity flare, have encountered a mysterious lost man whose origin promises to be one of the show's most enticing enigmas. 
<sighs> you know what I'm gonna do, guys? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take a long sit. And I'm gonna watch Lord of the Rings again. I'm gonna relive my 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 fantasy, my love life, my the movie that honestly would I would say is better than Star Wars. Which I think it is. A franchise that brought hope and prosperity to everyone. That even though the actor was gay, nobody really cared because the because the actual character in general was a complete badass, and nobody cares that nobody cared then, and nobody cared now. It's Gandalf. We love Gandalf, and they decide to ruin him. But it's but it's okay. But it's Gandalf, and the version of the story I'm constructing in my head. He grabs just a bit of earth like a meteor. It's pull. Okay, this guy is just a fucking full on just. I like how the versions against these terrible people. <clears throat> Alright, we're gonna we're gonna avoid this sludge. Yeah, this sludge here, whatever this is, this this whole paragraph, we're gonna avoid that sludge, alright? We're, we're just avoiding it. Yes, in the official timeline, at least in the appendices of the Two Lord Rings, which the show is based on, none of the other words don't show up until a thousand years into the third age. Yeah. Not entirely wrong there. Well, after the Forge of the Rings, the Judgment of Numenor, the last alliance of Elves and Man, and all that, ha Hobbits first appear in the fictional historical records around that time, too, while the Shire isn't found until TA-1600 with no official identification that Gandalf is involved. But consider this. The Hobbits, but the regular people living in the margin of the big story, are the heroes and the whole point of the Lord of the Rings, including the story of Gandalf. <coughs> and the hoof, Hairfoot is a good indication that the showrunners actually understand J.R.R. Tolkien. They don't. They don't understand him at all. The the Black Aragorn does not exist in J.R.R. Tolkien. None of the characters being perceived in this new th in this new series is J.R.R. Tolkien's vision at all. You all guys are a mockery of his work, a mockery of it. It was all just G Galadriel and Gilad and and Perfis and whatever the fuck and Grand Alliances and betrayals. Then no matter how close it falls to Tolkien's timeline, it's not Lord of the Rings. It's just Lord of the Rings flavored. Uh, yeah, this is not why we call Lord of the Rings. This is like a fa a terrible fan fiction type movie f a series is what I would call it, a terrible one. And quite honestly, I would say fan made stuff does a better job than the garbage that we get today. So and that's not to discredit the fan made people either. They do a damn good job uh, with a lot of the fan made stuff, and I find it very incredible. Hard work, really. A lot of passion. You feel the passion. You don't feel passion from these people. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, of course. Maybe that's not Gandalf. Maybe it's some unrelated tragedy. Or ra raggedy guy that I find in the crater. God. God, I hope. Oh, God, I hope so. I hope it's just not him. Let's just, just, just pray. It's Maybe it's one of the blue wizards. Or maybe it's some, just some guy, but it's not Gandalf. Why not? It better not be Gandalf. The Rings of Power is the most expensive TV show of all time so far, and the teaser shows show lots of big stuff. Action, Galadriel, Turin the Third, Young BRBF, and Elrond, various large battles, and everything that is absolute shit. Moving on. I'm looking forward all to that. Blah, 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 blah. Don't care. And everybody is making fun of it. The dude abides. POV. I'm um, Master Adagir when the drug warden knocks on the door at 3 a.m. to learn some yells. Oh, great. Some drug guy in a dirty bathrobe is out, is out flashing hobbies again. So, just straight reckoning token now. And, by the way, th this is, remember, this is August 23rd. A lot of these comments were actually deleted, by the way, because they were ripping into it immensely. Immensely ripping into this series, so they decided to remove and block comments because this was being ripped into immensely badly, by the way. And I would like to show you exactly what I mean here because what you seem to forget is that, uh, this ta same type of article that we, uh, that we see. Is not really the greatest. Actually, I could be wrong here. I could be wrong. But, for what I'm seeing here, see this August 23rd, 
we're gonna go through this. So we're gonna go through all this stuff, by the way. And go through all these things and all that. So yeah, we have that's Gandalf. So here we go. With 200 likes. They did not remove the comments. They did not remove the comments. I apologize. They did not do that. However, they uh, they they posted it again for some god apparent reason. But there but then you have people doing this. I really hope not. Gandalf was not in Middle Earth during the Second Age. I hate this division if it's true. Uh, Gandalf is a Maya is a Maya named Olarn, and the dirty, befuddled old man a spice will see of him in, is in the Third Age probably isn't what he was like in the Second Age. If this is Olarn, it seems to be a choice that doesn't leave that character much room to change. For what I understand, Gandalf was not just back to Middle Earth until the Third Age. It wouldn't make any sense if it was Gandalf. But remember, we're not dealing with a show that's concerned about making any sense with regards to the token to what token wrote. So this could make complete sense in their warped interpretation. I'm rooting it out. Based on what? It started didn't come to Middle Earth until the way they, the Third Age. And it says, Are we sure? The real wannabe gonna be like the say oh this one's wizards neat weeds. No, it's not. Gandalf doesn't appear until the year one thousand and the third age, and it was and it was by boat, landing in Linden. This guy who used to wander around the old hood with no two children or shepherds, both of whom we were named Spaghetti. Looks like Radagast. If that's a Robert Plant, I'm out. So you, you get the picture, guys. You get the picture. Yeah. Nobody really likes this, and everybody hates it. And they think this show is going to do good. It's not going to do good. They're going to waste so much money. They're going to waste so much money. And I can't wait till it gets dropped, and it gets absolutely destroyed. It's only in due time. Alright, guys, that's it for the video. Like, subscribe, and share. And uh, as always, you guys cry tonight, man. You can cry. Take care.